Losing a loved one is never easy, and now with new social distancing restrictions, funeral businesses are having to adjust. 23 ABC's Alex Bell spoke with officials from the Bakersfield National Cemetery on how they have adjusted services for veterans. We're all veterans. We're veterans serving veterans, so it's very important to us to still be here, to still be working. We're so glad that we're not completely shut down. So at the end of the day, you know, we want to give everything that we can. Businesses are continuously having to adapt their daily operations with the spread of COVID-19, including funeral services. Just in the last two and a half weeks, Bakersfield National Cemetery says around 25 families have decided to either cancel or reschedule their veterans' funeral services. Randy Hurd, the director of Bakersfield National Cemetery, says they are now only conducting burials and no memorial services at this time. Uh, a lot of people are choosing to postpone or reschedule just because they that portion of the um, the honors and the uh, committal service is important to them. The cemetery has also temporarily stopped all military honor services, including the gun salutes and the folding of the flag. It's tough because I'm all about closure, giving honor to the veterans and their family members. And sometimes it's tough to get closure. You know, when you can only allow 10 people. Following state issued guidelines, the funeral home has closed their lobby doors and can only allow 10 people to be present during the burial process. Oftentimes we have huge family uh, groups show up and we have to actually let them know that only 10 people are allowed to witness the interment. Heard says families can come back at a later date for memorial services and military honors. Normally on, on any given day, the, the services are huge. So to limit them, you know, it's tough from, from us, from our standpoint, but we also understand what's going on and how important it is for the social distancing. That was Alex Bell reporting. The cemetery has also had to stop receiving flower deliveries, but families are allowed to bring flowers to their loved ones personally.